Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm located in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I am back and I'm back from a really great adventure that's lasted over a year, which I'll talk about little by little. So if this is new to you, if you're new to Twin Flames and Ascension, welcome. Please subscribe because I have great information, great tutorials, a lot of great content. Let's get right into it. This video is about the Equinox energies. Now, I want to let you know, we still have several planets that are in, that are in retrograde. Now, the retrograde itself, what, what does it really mean? Like, for some people, it literally means you're going backwards. Like, you got pushed back. There's a reason you can feel pushed back. Or you can feel stuck. But let's think of this as a pause. I wanted to like think constructively, productively. Progress, not perfection, okay? Like everyone tries to do this perfectly. You're better off making progress. This is not a hobby. This is not something to confuse you. This is your life and this is your journey. So let me help you with it. So in this energy, of course, we have a change of a season. There are things that not only will happen to your body, but need to happen to your body as the season changes. This is again going to be another point where there's equal light and equal dark in the daylight and the nighttime, okay? Your body needs to adjust to that. It's probably already going through some of that adjustment right now, but it can feel weird. And I'm here to help you break it down here. So some of that can be fatigue, breakdown of systems. What are some of the breakdown of systems? Well, how are you eating over the summer? How was your, you know, festivals and all of that? Are things catching up with you? Perhaps. I was visiting another state and I was eating on the road a lot and it catches up with me. I literally had to push off and find a Trader Joe's where I could get some juice and find a place that juice I didn't want to pay, but I certainly missed my home juicing and I highly recommend it. We are also having very seasonable weather, but weather is one of the factors that is making people freak out. But let's put even that in perspective, okay? In Europe, people started moving into other territories 10,000 years ago because the glaciers were receding. You find geological evidence of the glaciers receding in parts of Europe, in Northern Europe, even in Central Europe. We're nervous about what does this melting and stuff do. Try not to be nervous, but I want to encourage you, focus on your own neck of the woods. Maybe there is something you can do but the main thing you shouldn't do is have worry vibes over it. Worry can really make you sick and it can make you not feel well on top of everything else that is probably happening for your ascension. Things like power outages. Now, some people chalk this just up to the retrograde. They'll just say like, well, the power's out. Things aren't working. Our little devices, they're clonking out because it's, you know, still mercury retrograde or it's this retrograde that wrote okay pay attention to what is powering down that's what you have to pay attention to not the fact that it is powering down or the power went out or there's unseasonable weather i love to call those time leaps those are like making quantum leaps take them as a cue as your higher ability to be able to leap forward and then come back, attend to business, you know, maybe you jumped into another level of this playing field or this plane, okay, for your existence. Maybe you'll feel better about your existential crisis after doing that. You probably will. That stuff happens passively. That's not something that you can really program in for. And in fact, it's specifically designed to remove certain programs from the snow on your television up here from your memory bank. Phone and internet, same thing. Drops in the service, change in the service. Maybe the neighbor 
you know, gets a new service, they actually knock you out instead. Whoops. Okay. There can be a lot of whoops moments with this kind of energy. It's not entirely intended to be negligent, and yet you have to keep your wits about you. There is also an influx of awakening the star seed energies for men. However, once again, I will tell you how it plays out is somewhat strange because it will feel like major dissatisfaction in their lives. You can feel some of it through your body. If you're connected to someone who is a man or you know men around you, you're going to see some of this. You're going to feel like they are dissatisfied. Nothing's really blowing up their skirt, so to speak. Nothing is lighting their fire. Nothing is really filling the tank. That's a good thing because the one thing that has to fill a tank, let me hear you, your love, of course, yes. If you didn't get that right, you're going to get another pop quiz next month and at the next season and the next season. So what are some of the things how this breaks down in the physical, the metaphysical, and in your emotions? Because they're all tied together. These are all a part of the grand, glorious, multifaceted being that you are. So in the physical, you can experience a queasy stomach, cramps. For women, cramps is not good news. I know how to help you to deal with the cramps because I know how to help you shift your energy. Head and chest tensions. In fact, if you look at the links below this description on this video, you will see a very short mini tutorial to help you with those tensions because it's critical. It's right over your heart. Why do you want to have tension all over your heart? Why do you want things to snowball out of control? This energy is to get you to pay attention to how this pertains to you as an individual. If you are so focused on what your other is doing or you know not doing, then you're missing the point of focusing on yourself. I'm going to be straight up, bring that right back to yourself. Focus on how you're feeling, what you're perceiving, what you're going through, where you are in your life. Because these grand portals that we're having, these long pauses in the universe, it's intended for things to start going your way. I know, because I was through about a whole 18 months worth of a long pause while we got through something in my family. It was not fun. I felt like I was towing a barge behind me. I wanted to break free. I wanted to do the thing that I don't recommend people to do. I felt like abandoning ship. You cannot do that. The higher consciousness you are, the more ascended you are, your moral compass will keep you doing the right thing. You have to do it for each other's sake too. This is not a game, this is not a hobby, this is not about like, you know, the more you decide to do it, that is the paradox. The more that you decide to do it, the more you cooperate with the uh, twin flying body work that has to be done, the more that you devote yourself to actually getting where you need to be, the easier it gets. Dealing with intense people. We're seeing this a lot more. People are having impulse control issues. They're having trouble uh, controlling their angers, their rage. They're having trouble, you know, even telling the difference, should they or shouldn't they. They are having a problem. Unfortunately, there's a lot of innocent people in the crosshairs on those situations. Are you dealing with intense people? All the more reason to get my mini tutorial. It's a great way to introduce yourself to my work, how I do it, how I make it concise, and start getting you results like that. Let's move on to the metaphysical. Your dreams, straight up, they're going to be strange. You may struggle to sleep. You may tr struggle to stay asleep. You may struggle with sleeping and it's not satisfying sleep and you wake up and you don't feel satisfied. You don't feel like somehow you really rested and the night was weird and things kept pummeling you and pushing you and poking you and it's not 
things, it's the energies, quite frankly. Let me give you a visual to go with that. Imagine you're sort of put onto like a kayak or a canoe or a raft and you're being moved along so you are in transit. You're being transited from one place to another. That is what is meant when um, certain energies go in transit, when they start going forward or when they station and then they go forward. You'll start moving and it can be bumpy. It's like a train lurching forward. The train is leaving the station, right? And you get that like lurch, right? That's what gives you the queasy stomach. You're starting to move. You perceive some movements, but much of it is imperceptible, particularly in your night. You can actually feel like, again, a paradox, it is perceptible and yet it's not perceptible all at the same time. You're like, where am I going? What am I doing? I feel there's something and yet you feel blindfolded. Do not take these things on blind faith. Learn through my work how to see into the next levels using your visioning system that God gave you. If you don't know how to open it, it's time to start learning what your eyes really can do. You have more to the level of your sight than you may even realize. And it goes beyond being clairvoyant too because it brings a level of maturity and discernment that is sorely needed out there and honestly in many of these pockets of what I don't know, people try to follow, trying to get answers. The best answers come from the most divine part of you. And that's what I help you open. It's empowering. The next one, your money connections. We have a lot of inflation. Despite inflation, I have kept my prices the same. But do you feel like your money connections are broken? Are you feeling like we've come out of the pandemic and they raised the prices and you're just scrambling? Well, these are also metaphysical connections for you. Money connections are a part of your abundance, a part of your ability to manifest, a part of your ability to create. Be creative, be a creator. I'm a creator. I'm a prototyper. I have created an entire modality to help you with this. I've written seven books, okay? This is what I'm saying is that the connections are wiring you up to do some of those great things that you have seated inside you. But in the meanwhile, it can make you feel like you're broken. I have a special session for that. And getting you to feel like you're not broken or you can get up and running, you can, you can get your flow going, however you term it. Get in the flow, be in the zone, uh, abundance, you know, getting rid of your lack mentality. Honestly, on this journey, nobody truly has lack mentality. They are lying to you about a lot of stuff, like telling you like, you know, stop thinking like a victim. In all honesty, the things that you get rid of or need to get rid of, those are the things that can make you feel like that. However, just because you feel it doesn't mean you're owning it, okay? Doesn't mean that that's what you're here for. Doesn't mean that that's supposed to perpetuate, okay? At least the potential is there thanks to these energies to break down even some of those systems. How would you like to need a certain system or way of doing something or even a way that you lived, but it's for a season. And then you break out of that season and you're like, woohoo, I am starting to manifest. I'm starting to do by being. You cannot do by being though without engaging your light body, the twin flame body. Okay, you need that etheric connection because that is the very first connection to 5D, which is supporting you. Your support is up here not down there, okay? Not the place you're leaving, not the caveman days. A lot of people also have this, like, when my prince comes mentality, someday my prince will come. Yeah, it's really nice when it's a Disney story. Even some people are really upset with Disney for perpetuating that. You, you are equals. Let me say that again. 
you are equals. But no, we're not. The ERA amendment never was passed. Yes, I know that. In fact, my own mom is working tirelessly trying to help get it passed with the help of a bunch of women in the area that actually were around in the 70s on the first go around. They are still pushing to make that a reality for your generations. So when it comes to, you know, how equal are you? The equality is in your etheric body. It's etheric equality. It's not like you know, the DM is this and the DF is that. Whoever's out there saying that crap, they're lying to you. They're just like twisting it around. And, you know, in this energy, here's another thing to be aware of. You can feel the masculine energy approaching you. However, what you're feeling is really that they're feeling the influx of their own energy because they've been holding the fort. It's like someone going like, I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold. You got it, you got it, you got it. And then they move their energy out and then they can get moving with their side. It doesn't always happen simultaneously. In fact, it almost never happens simultaneously. If you are not perceiving your true other through you, then you really need to start on the actual real 5D light body work that I have through my modality. Broken or just breaking down a system. That's what you want to really focus on is that you're breaking down a system that really is not sufficient for you as a multidimensional being. You need the support because you're living here. You need to live because you're living here and you were born here and you were invited here and you were chosen to be here, okay? You weren't chosen because you're a weakling or a victim. You were chosen because you had what it takes seated right inside you. And this is really the reason that people start to get a bit befuddled is because they can't see it. They start hitting that wall without realizing they need to go up and level up okay they just hit it and there's all kinds of things that they need to get rid of but even that using water again as an analogy okay watery energy rain and you know flooding like we have had some terrible instances of that but water also cleanses and it moves and it ports things it makes things more portable and again enables a cleansing effect here okay so in the larger scale yes you are moving away from this breakdown sweeping the debris away moving along your emotions okay and pay attention because you will probably feel some of the emotions of the person you're connected to truly connected to don't go run to the internet like go look on facebook or social media and see what they're up to if you do that you're missing the point entirely, okay? Chances are you're not going to see because people don't put their worst stuff out there for the public anyway. So, what emotions? Well, you can feel some of this. You can feel a bit of disgust. Like, this is taking so long. Why is this taking so long? It's been five years. I've been waiting for five years for a person to get their crap together. Well, really, have you? I mean, really ask yourself, have you done the things you can? Because many times people are saying this with their mouth, they are not doing any actions to back it up. So all talk and no action. Fed up. Irritated. Irritable. Okay? These are things that are connected to your hormones for the season, for your sleep hormones, for your feel-good hormones, for your other hormones, even your digestive, uh, the digestive hormones. You don't really want to neglect that side of yourself. Digestion, sleep, these are so important. Deep sadness. Okay, 
I know what that is all about. I had several crying jags about it and it's unavoidable to cry sometimes. We also had a major world event where the queen died. And whether you like it or not, some people are in a state of grief and that kind of collective grief is felt throughout the collective of the planet. Whether or not you're there, whether or not you care, you may feel some of it. You're also going to feel what it releases from the breakdown of certain systems. And part of what's been broken down is perpetuating uh, situations where people are stuck in a certain lifestyle. You know, they're stuck there or they're stuck in poverty or they're stuck being trafficked or something like that. Deep sadness, grief. You can also feel a loss of joy in life. You might sit there and go like, well, what am I going to do? I don't know. There's nothing to do. The whole planet is full of stuff to do. If you don't know what to do and you've got time, try volunteering at something. It will be greatly appreciated. And who knows? Maybe it'll spark something up. But again, I know how to get that moving. And for women, this is a real thing. You're, I'm, I'm going to give you a little story here. In my old neighborhood, the neighborhood I grew up in, there were a lot of immigrants. I live in Chicago. I still live in Chicago. The immigrants tended to be from European countries for the most part. There were a few people from Asia, but it, it just so happened the wear, the makeup of our neighborhood, it was mostly European. But we had mostly Irish, Polish, Greek, and Southern Italians. Okay, there weren't really French people or Dutch people. Um, there were some people that were from India, some from Korea, some who were um, other Asians, such as um, Chinese, very few. And it, you know, has a lot to do with who was able to come here and set up in a neighborhood and live there and send their kids to school. But I'm getting to a point, and the point is, is that for many of the grandparents in those families, dad was dead and the grandma was the one alive. She was relegated to a life where she was considered the instant babysitter, the instant cook, the instant gardener. You know, like her role as woman changed her. Because she was a woman, she then had these roles to fulfill. She was not allowed to like, and here's the worst part, forced to wear black all the time. I remember seeing these women wearing black, holding babies, like their entire life revolved. Well, at that time, it did. It had to be their life. Those were the only choices to them. It is not this way anymore, but you may have had that kind of life. Lots of joy in life. What if you were a widow? What if, you know, you had to leave someone behind in another country? We've all had to do this throughout our existence. It's our people, it's our ancestors. We feel it. You can feel a feeling that feels like, why bother? You can feel apathetic even about your own magnificent ascension. Why bother? I don't know. It's just another day. A card flew out. Really? Yeah. But why bother? It's never going to come true. And it starts to get very defeatist. I don't like to see people in that mode because that starts to bend over in on itself and it can get worse until it becomes clinical depression where the organs are affected and meds are needed, etc., etc. I have ways to flip that around and flip it up and get rid of it. Nobody loves me. Or disinterest. Or even, you know, saying it's it's your age. Well, I'm at this age, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you something. My mom and her friends, there was a patch of time, they were all meeting people. And they were like in their 70s and 80s. It's still possible to meet quality people. The key is the compass of your heart. Now, if you do not know how to shift your energies, and how to get yourself out of these modes. It really is time to try my work, try 
having a session, we will do this for you. This is something that I am, it is my gift. It is what God put me here to do. It's like saying, you know, to a, you know, a top architect, like, hey, why don't you go build that shed over there? You know what? I'm not here to do certain things, but I am here to do this. And I have created it and I've made it concise and I prototype it. Everything that I recommend to people, I have personally done usually more than once usually about six times on the minimum. If you're having trouble sleeping, try my sleep book, Sleep and Ascension, because it is different for ascending people. The whole level of sleep is different for ascending people. You're not going to get away without it. I can tell you that you can have uh, pills that you take, sleeping pills, I highly recommend do not use narcotics and other forms of things to obliterate yourself. Don't get hammered. Don't go into blackouts with alcohol. There was something that I realized I was supposed to do, but I didn't know it. But I was having trouble sleeping. This went on for about six weeks. I was getting maybe an hour of sleep. I kept getting woken up. And what happened was is that one night I really had a conversation with my higher self. The conversation kind of went like this, like, I really need to sleep. I, I'm really starting to feel like dog chow now, and I, I really need it. What's going on? You keep escaping through the portal. And I was like, yeah, I need to teach you a new way. And from now on, you'll wake up and you'll write it down. And so I did. And what I what I didn't realize, you ever hear this expression like through the eye of the needle? There's an area inside that was the old portal. There is a new set of ports inside you that are your stargates. Those are the things you need to get open. That is what I teach you. Everything's in a new section on your body, which is why things can feel so uncomfortable for you. So the equinox is a big turning point for you. And once again, I would encourage you, please work with someone who is a multidimensional healer who knows it. Join one of my classes. We have a lot of fun. We laugh. I love questions. There are people that won't even put their real names out there. I'm right out here. I'm waiting for the day someone is like, didn't we know that lady from our old neighborhood? And I'll be like, yeah. And I'm still doing my videos here because Everything keeps changing and you are here for a reason. You have a purpose. You're not an imposter. You can do this. And I'm here to show you and teach you so that you become empowered. Thanks so much for watching. Please check the links below. If my videos help you, please let me know. My website, I have to twinflamerinconnection.com and TwinFlamesMerge.com. Thanks so much. Bye now.